Hey guys, it's Klaus. Let's watch Diddle 77 in his Centurion Action X, the Tier 10 British medium tank. Now, you know, these British medium tanks for years were the armpit of mediums in the game. Absolutely atrocious, and they sucked so bad. They have been buffed now, but I don't know if you had to live through the years where these things were absolutely pathetic. And I remember getting tricked into grinding through the British medium line because, you know, there's a, some popular Brits that just went on and on about how great the fucking, you know, the Centurion 7 one and the Centurions were, uh, you know, because they were British and they had to talk up the British tanks and holy shit. I mean, the, they were the slowest, they had no armor, the biggest, the lowest DPM, right? And then you'd have, uh, uh, some some popular uh, Brits saying, well, you know, if you're playing the Centurion 7-1, uh, it's so powerful, you, you can use the, don't use the top gun, use the, the gun that you get in the tier 8 because it has a higher DPM. Yeah, yeah, great, that's what you want to do. Use the lower gun because the, the top gun is utter shit and has the lowest DPM in the game. And, uh, you know, then you, you check the stats of these guys spouting off about how great the British Centurions are, and you, and you look at it, and you, they never play the fucking tank, right? They talk, uh, talk up a big uh, hoopla about how great it is, but yeah, they, they never play it themselves. And then you'd get artied uh, right away because you're so big and you're so slow, and then you'd hear things like, well, it's slow, but it has one of the highest HP ratios The you can get to that slow top speed quickly. A big fucking deal, right? They're so horrible, but I listened to that shit and, and actually played the Centurion 1 and Centurion 7 1 while they were utterly crap. And it was the most uh, traumatizing experience I've ever had in the game. And holy fuck, almost gave up on the whole line. But now, vindicated, Klaus is vindicated. Even Wargaming, after checking thousands and thousands of stats, realized how pathetic and hopeless these things were. That they buffed the whole British line and they've made most of the tanks faster. Right? And they've made the guns higher DPM and buffed the guns. And even the tier 10, they removed what used to be the piece of shit and they've put in the Action X. And they've gotten rid of the Hesh which is the go fuck yourself ammo that was the secret weapon of the British tanks where you could shoot someone with your hesh and if your shot hit one pixel to the left and touched the track, uh, you know, you would do 15 damage on a light tank or you'd shoot hesh at an artillery and roll uh, 23, right? Just fucking atrocious. But now the Centurion Action X, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the sky is blue and everything looks great. You've got a tank that's actually fast. You've got a tank with good gun depression. Uh, the DPM is not so bad. The gun is accurate. And you don't have to deal with fucking Hesh anymore. You get actual, uh, a good premium round, which you never have to use because the, uh, the, the regular round is APCR and can pen almost anything. Uh, the only thing it still has that's, that's utterly hopeless is it has no armor uh, and it's big, but you know, imagine playing a big tank with no armor uh, when you had the lowest DPM gun in the game and were one of the slowest. Like, how the fuck were you supposed to uh, uh, fight uh, Russian uh, medium tanks? Despite what was spewing out of the cake holes of a couple of twats from Great Britain. Holy, f you should be ashamed of yourselves. But now, things have turned around and Diddle here is playing the Centurion Action X and he's not gonna be diddling around. And while I've ranted here for a half the game, you've noticed that it, this game is almost lost. Now on this map, I would normally recommend to go north. If you have any kind of a tank with speed and gun depression, go north because whoever wins the hills to the north, whoever sends the most tanks to the north wins the hills to the north, and whoever wins the north usually wins the game. But Diddle here went south and he is using the strength of this 
gun now. Look, the gun actually shoots fast. It's got good penetration. He's got good gun depression. And he's using the bushes. The other thing, surprisingly, is this thing has not so bad camo. And I think this guy has a, a pretty good camo crew. So he's giving you a lesson here on how to shoot people and remain undetected. Hello. Hey, Frenchie, with your $80 premium French tank with all the armor. That gets matchmaking in tier 10. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> Don't you like to buy a, a, a premium tank? Look at this guy. He's bought the Liberté, right? Because it's got all this armor. And he gets to roll out and fight tier 10s. Uh, and, you know, so much for armor. But look at this guy. He ain't diddling around here. He's actually... He, like this thing. Look at that. Look at that. He is not spotted. Because he's using the... Uh, look at the view range circles on the map. You see, the enemies are outside his white circle, but inside his maximum rendering circle. The two circles you see on the map. If the enemies are in between those two circles, he can see them, but they have no hope of seeing him. Do you understand? Hey, Frenchie, how's your armor? Gotcha! Gotcha! 80 bucks! Flush down the toilet. Oh! What the hell is this? There's someone on his ass. Boom. Uh oh, he's going to be spotted now. He's going to be spotted. Yes, he is spotted now. You see that this enemy is close to him. He's spotted. He's got to get rid of him fast. He's got to get rid of him fast. And he is not in one of the old Centurions. He's in one of the new Centurions that actually has some DPM. But he did not penetrate their armor because, you know, fuck you. Sometimes you can't penetrate. But look at this. Boom. Okay, now look. This is the play of the game. Look at this. He's getting shot up in the ass. Shot in the ass by a scout tank. He ignores the scout tank. Aims at the big TD. Boom! Takes out the big gun. Now that is situational and map awareness. He got rid of the guy that could shoot him for 800 damage. And ignored this little pesky critter that shot him five times for 300 damage. And now he can get rid of him. Boom! How many of you would have just turned around to fight the light tank that was behind you? Right? You're getting shot. Oh, oh, got to turn around. Got to shoot the light tank. And while you're shooting the light tank, the big TD on the hill, the T-124, shoots you for 880 damage. And game over. But he did not fall for that because this guy does not diddle around. This guy knows how to play. Holy shit. And you know what? Not a hope in hell that he could have handled those three enemies like he just did in any of the old centurions before the buff now he's got some speed and mobility and he's got some dpm can you imagine before the buff playing the centurion 7-1 and there was actually some people saying you should use you don't use the top gun use the the middle gun that you get at tier 8 because it has that higher DP, dpm all you got to do is load uh, 50 uh, gold rounds and lose 140,000 credits a game spewing out gold shots that do 220 blink 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 220 damage per shot uh, at tier 10s that you wouldn't be able to penetrate uh, uh, sit way at the back so you don't get detected because they'll shoot you back for 500 and uh, uh like what what the fuck you've got a tank and the top gun is so utterly shit that the dpm makes you the worst the lowest the most pathetic in the in the game and on top of that, you're the slowest. And on top of that, you're the biggest. And on top of that, you've got the worst armor. And yet there were still some people that went on and on about how much they, oh, I really like the Centurions. I was hauled down once and I did 4,000 damage in my Centurion 7-1. I really, you just have to know how to play it. Shut up. You did 4,000 damage once. And you go out and get a T-54 and you do 4,000 damage every second game. I mean, holy shit. But now, enough of the raging, now everything has turned around. The British mediums are actually competitive and Wargaming has realized how pathetic, I mean, I guess no one was getting them, right? Like why the fuck would you get the British mediums when you could just get the Russian mediums or even the German ones or even the French ones or any other ones that, that just shot faster and moved faster and had some turret armor. But now, all of them have been buffed. They're all faster. They're all competitive. It's amazing how something just speed, just having a little speed so you can drive around the map and relocate 
when you're having a little bit of a problem on one flank. I mean, imagine in the old days, uh, you were the slowest tank in the game. I imagine the British line in the old days, the medium line was slower than the artillery line. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? You go down a, a, a line, you go down the medium line in the British uh, tech tree, and you're actually fucking slower than if you go down the artillery line. And people talked about how they enjoyed it. Holy shit. Well, now, oh, look at this. While I'm ranting around there, he just got fucking artied. And he, he, look, you see what he did after he got hit by the artie? He turned to face that little arrow that you get now that tells you what direction you've been shot from. So he, he got hit. But he was smart enough to say, okay, the shot came from over there. Did you notice that? Or do a lot of you, when you get hit by artillery, just, you know, start raging and screaming and fuck him. And then you, the, the arrow disappears and you have no fucking idea where he is. <laughs> well, he knows the shot came from over here. But watch this detection. The, the artillery is in the bush with the camel net, not moving. So he has camel. And this guy does not have camel. So he's got to close the distance fast and find him before the artillery reloads. And there he is, like 10 meters away. And he shoots HE and gets fucked because you should never shoot HE because you always get fucked when you shoot HE. But he finally did it. And look at this. Pascucci's for killing those three scumbags. Kolobinov's for winning when there's five versus one or worse. And look at these other medals. Look at this. Look at them all. Look at that game. And how much damage did he do? Look at that. Over 7,000 damage. That's a carry. And... He made some credits because he did not resupply ammunition, even though he shot a lot of heat. Well, thanks, Diddle77, for sending this epic game. And you know, guys, it is now official. You can go down the British medium line. It's not so bad. It is no longer the armpit shit line of the game. Uh, this is the no bullshit verdict. Klaus is letting you know. They are competitive. They're actually fast and not so bad now. And you don't have to do it like when I did it, when they were just utter, horrible rubbish. You can go down the British line now and have some fun. You heard it on No Bullshit, Klaus's channel.